Okay, I had to reload quite a way back. I had loaded for a while. Um, people standing motionless around a huge metal mountain. Yeah, Ivan goes probably there somewhere. Okay, so we now we know we need to go back. And now we need to find out from the scientist how to deal with this. Good to know. I, think I was thinking Ivan Go was a bad guy who was going to be like the architect of all this. Scientist village. Your will is impressive, you risk the voice of heaven. That's not very scientific, buddy. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. If you find enough strength to return from the source, it doesn't stop the madness that seized all those people. What has happened here? Years ago, our world was different. There were huge countries, cities with millions of dwellers, clever machines that did your work for you. Everything was simple, but suddenly the world collapsed. Well, we've had to trash one clever machine because it's the AI, the, um, the Oracle. Military forces spotted an identified flying object, which was immediately brought down. You saw it on your way. It was part of the group that was sent to examine the mysterious object. The country was on the verge of war. We were the only scientists left studying this UFO. Little wonder we were in a hurry and a bit careless. So I presume the, the rays emanating from this are what has driven everybody mad in the nearby province. Um, we brought When we got on board the ship, with the ship no doubt, we were ecstatic. We thought of the endless opportunities, new medicine, ultra strong materials, revolutionary technology, but we found death instead. Several scientists got crushed by the machines. Three of my colleagues committed suicide. But the worst thing happened when we opened a sealed cell in the central tank. Uh, yeah, you're a scientist, you couldn't help poking around. We didn't believe in superstition. Anyway, the moment we opened the door, all hell broke loose. My colleagues, their bodies exploded. I had this strange voice inside my head. I blacked out when I woke up. I was outside the ship, in the camp. I called for help, but nobody came. It's killing me. I've got to be punished, but I don't feel pain. God knows how many times I've tried to kill myself, but all in vain. I can't die. It was terrible. I thought I was the only survivor. More people started to arrive. I was horrified when I saw how much they mutated. Just look at me or yourself. I tried to think what's under your mask. Yeah, we're we're not mutated. We're just wearing it because the air is contaminated. Unless you your brain is messed up and therefore you think we're all mutated. Uh, when it, the device is still working, it keeps contaminating the atmosphere. Let's turn it off. Uh, I can neither come close to the device nor near this place. I am doomed to stay here and watch. So you've got a lesser version of the guys who are stuck steering. You've got a bit more autonomy, but you're still stuck here. Your brain is fixated on the UFO. Uh, I'm going to save those people. Turn the machine off. So violence or non-violence? We're going to go with non-violence. Well, that's my usual thing. I haven't go talk about strange lights in the sky. Uh, his friend Ben Throttle might say about it. Oh, Ben, okay, he's oh, he's already back in Midgard. Okay. Um, do you have any good parts that are like unique here? Because you're a scientist and therefore got extra good stuff? Why have you got the same old crap as everybody else? Oops. I suspect. Some electronics. Come on, give me something good. No, nothing special there, is there? Let us show you the way around the military base. Good, I don't want to do need the again. detour. I'm ready to fight with them. Together we will win. Calm down. <laughs> you have a mission of utmost importance. Do not waste any time on these madmen. True. All right. Lead the way. Time. Just get around them. We're going to fix them by fixing the main problem. Where am I? Oh, we're back here. Okay. They've given us a shortcut back. It looks a bit like where I came the first time round. And I sneaked past... Yeah, where's the other one? There he is. Wow, when he aced you, didn't I? And now I'm stuck against a wall. So we've got to go all the way back to bloody Ben again. 
good source of Odin's around here, though. Where are you? Oh, I don't even care. Let's just get out of here. I feel like we're approaching... Whoa, my God. Approaching the end of the game, possibly. I can't believe that killing, destroying the spaceship or whatever we're doing to it is not going to be the solution. Turning off the device. But how am I going to get all the way back to... Is it mid, it's Midgard, isn't it? That's where he is. Okay. Right. Re ready for the road trip. You're going to have to sit through me driving for hours to get all the way back to bloody Midgard. It's actually not as bad as I thought it was to get back to Midgard. Not from where we were, because we went straight across the desert, back to Cry, the starting area. The first area we were ever in, where our home is. We got burned down. And then it's only one more map over to get to Midgard. I'd forgotten it was so close. <sighs> Not bad at all. So a nice pleasant drive back through the countryside in our ridiculously armoured vehicle. You know, it might be interesting to pop back to... Oh, actually, hold on a second. Oh yeah, we're at the wrong end. I was thinking of coming in here. It's actually quite a drive back. I'd forgotten we come in this, this part of uh, Midgard. Um, or whatever the area is called. Uh, yeah, so I was also thinking we might want to pop to Midgard itself, the city, because that's where the scientist was, who then vanished off because of all our crop observations that were going on. And that's a weird one, because I always thought, you know, making holes in crops, that's a very alien thing to do, isn't it, really? You look and bugger off, I'm not even going to bother with you. Um, yeah, the uh, aliens messing around with crops and cattle and things. That suggests there are some active aliens still around, doesn't it, really? If they're uh, messing around with our, our crop growing. Well, not only one, one spaceship, maybe? There's more spaceships? No, I'm not going to worry about it. I think everyone in the country is partly affected, or possibly the world is partly affected by the uh, the madness beyond the, uh, the deadly gases. In fact, no one's actually... No one's actually said that the uh, that the gas was poisonous at the start of the game. They just said everyone had to wear masks because of the gas. So I guess that's why that is the point, isn't it? The gas is driving everybody mad, which is why everyone's got to wear masks so they don't constantly attack each other. But then you see the amount of attacks we get around it. I mean, if you saw this thing approaching on the road and you were a bunch of bandits in your crappy little car, with like one or two gunsmen. Would you do anything with this? Would you even bother trying to touch a vehicle lot like this in this area? I think it would be a terrible, it'd be suicide by, suicide by, uh, it's a bit like, um, this is what I mean? Where are you? I'm not, I can't even see where you are. like a bunch of goblins taking on you know a heavily armed party of adventurers there's a wizard walking around you know he's not even walking the wizard's floating above the ground arms and eyes glowing you know heavily armed warriors with shining uh shining gear on and like, you average bunch of bandits are like no thank you i'm not gonna bother with that i think i shall leave that for the next group of people coming past you know it's the equivalent of the scene this isn't it and going i think we can take this on lads I think we've got a chance. This is this heavily armed vehicle with our bunch of little trucks. But there we go. We make the gun less the game less ball, less exciting if they um <laughs> if they consider that, I guess. Here he is, it's oh Ben, you haven't forgotten the old man, I'm so glad to see you again. I wonder if Ivan Go saw flying ships in his travels. Did he tell you anything about them? You'd think he was writing them down in his journal that we've been reading, wouldn't you? He saw flying ships. He did, in fact. We used to sit on the grass and swap stories. He would tell me about the lights in the sky, the shining discs, that sort of rubbish. He mentioned Seal, and I told him. Uh, Seal it was. I'd love to hear the end of your story. Where was Seal? I can't remember. It's really important now you mention it. I remember one... <laughs> I like his hat. One legend. I saw a lot during my troubles. You cannot surprise me. I have a matter of utmost importance to attend to. 
wait, d- listen to him. We decided they're going to come to him for his help. Stop shutting him down, the poor fella. She said, what way to read it? I have a feeling you may understand it better than anyone else. Okay, uh, a new book is added to your journal. I tried to analyse the reasons of the catastrophe. It was an evolutionary leap triggered by an unknown power. Um, whatever gave us that power, the process of skin transformation of the mask. So, have we all transformed? Are we all different from humans that we don't see anymore? You will need a little faith to complete it. They grew so attached to the new world. Um, Live and die as children of the earth. So we shouldn't be wearing our masks, maybe? I don't know. Those who remember holding on to their former life. Uh, it wasn't easily the life for human. We didn't know what you were supposed to do. They tried to recreate towns and governments. Uh, the poor people realised their spiritual nature. The harder they tried to surround themselves with objects that reminded them of their former life. Hence their love for vehicles. The objects that are always with you and let you be who you are. The truck has become everything to the modern man. Oh. Unexpected from the game again, anyway. Head to the weapon. Um, everything's about the truck, yeah. Everything's about refueling and upgrading the truck. It's the fetish for the new man. You should put an end to this imitation of life. Do we need to evolve? What do we need to do then? He's telling us to talk to the seal people. Is that a location? I can't remember where Seal is. So they're saying that we should... This isn't the end of the world. We're supposed to be starting a new world and we've, we've sort of... We're resisting it and we've, 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 uh, we've stuttered in doing it. I don't know. Not the bother with Midgard. We're going to go back over here and just refuel ourselves a little bit. For a quick repair. And then... I remember seeing going to Seal before, but I can't think where it is. Is it as is it a region or is it a city? I do like the idea that we've now become focused because everything about the game is the truck. Obviously, it's called Hard Truck Apocalypse. The 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 the, the, the truck is the centre of the game for us. But the, I like I love the idea that they're you know, they're saying that everybody's obsessed with trucks now. It's um. Which is, if everything, if everything is disrupted, the world is disrupted, where are we heading to? Okay, that way. You know, we're tr people are trying to build towns again, but a lot of people are saying, you know, stuff this. Towns are, being stuck in one place is dangerous. We want to go to a nomadic life again. And therefore, the big truck is the safest way of doing it. We can, you can drive around, it's, it's big and tough. It goes over rough ground. You can you can uh, carry things in it, you can defend yourself with it, you can trade with it if you want to, it's got the, the gear, it's got the space in it to carry things around, so everything's about the truck now, and everything on the on the planet is about keeping the trucks moving, and armoured and everything else, but it's all part of us resisting, if I read it right, oh, the remains of something, probably a previous battle from me, um, resisting moving on because something has happened with this alien spaceship and it's we're all changing and that also might suggest which way am i supposed to be going up oh, that way okay that maybe we're not you know we said about the masks and everything else maybe we're we haven't seen what we look like on the masks maybe it's more than just if everybody looks the same you wouldn't really notice it so much but maybe everyone's been a bit changed now we don't look the, the most human thing about us now is what we look like in our mask, which is what humans used to look like. But now we're different. I mean, who knows what that means? I don't, I don't know. Maybe we're going to find out at the end. We're going to see a. We're going to. We're going to. We're going to face off. At the end, masks come off, and we see what humanity has become now. We'll see. It's a positive spin on the other. The end would be a big battle of some sort. But maybe the. Um, It's going to be a positive end to the game. We shall see. But I'm still expecting a punch up. Um, hold on. Before we go that way, I've also had a thought. This is. I can't remember what this town's called. Um, is it where I bought all the Odins from before? Or was that somewhere in Midgard? I 
remember. I want to check something. Asgard, there we go. Worker bee, any job for me? No, thank you, I'm not going to Celeste. Uh, we can sell this crap all off. <laughs> I thought that's where I got it from. We'll get the hail back. Got the money to, to run it now, anyway. Basic flags. Thinking we can really improve ourselves on here, is there really? Okay. So, Seal is the city. Okay, it's the city in Librium. I thought it sounded familiar. I think I got it stuck in my head that Librium was the was the city. Never mind. Oops. Okay. <laughs> Mad leap there. This car is pretty good and darn good. This truck's pretty good for the handling, but even it isn't designed for doing me <laughs> for doing things like that. Okay, here we go. Next part of the quest. Have I got anything to sell? No. I'm not even bothering. Right. Electrician. Have you noticed anything unusual lately? Any people acting strangely? He says to the man with the, the, the funny specks on the paint down his face. Um, there's an enormous zone nearby, so people are often attracting, acting strange around there. They saw metal objects in the sky. Right, okay. Oh, a malfunction. Your power's gone off. Right. The Oracle? So this is their second base. The other one's the one with the thingy. This is the other base. So it is a punch up then, is it? Who are you and why are you hiding when my people are, are suffering? We are the Najiri. We came here from other worlds. Our paths happened to cross in the universe. How is it? How is it hurt you? brought pain to all of us. I know that one of your machines is poisoning this planet. Yeah, can we turn I want to know off, why this is happening. Our cargo transport was brought down by your orbital defense. While we were planning a rescue expedition, ah. you people of the Earth. Found it first and turned on Playing a hard. device which was designed for work in so open we did it to space. So how do we turn away it off them? From all living. How does it work? Hello. <laughs> Come on, game. Don't lock up on me. The technical okay. <laughs> details <laughs> won't tell you anything. The point is, it brought death to all life. Only oh, the strongest so you, you're species, suffering, are you? including human beings, survived, having undergone certain changes. What changes? The radiation is deadly even to us. So tell me how to turn it off then. Is it going to be a sacrifice myself job? Both of our races are responsible for the catastrophe, but you saw it happening and did nothing to stop it. Not the time for blame games. Come on. Let's get it fixed. Game, don't lock up on me. Oh no. We've oh, been goodness. trying to repair the harm we've inflicted to your planet. How? What have you been but doing? But all in vain. 
we cannot even approach the crash site. Time for heroic action to us. The contamination sauce has an independent supply unit and cannot be turned off. Well, I bet we can turn it off. Why don't you destroy it then? We stuck here. There is no knowing what oh. it may lead to. A major surge in the information field may be the last straw that kills all the survivors. In any case, the resources of your species aren't endless. Even the strongest of you will eventually die. That's normal, isn't it? I'm sure you found a solution after all those years on Earth. We've made a device that will slowly reduce the radiation. It will uh, give okay. us time. We need to place the device near the uh, broken ship. Who can get ship. really close without being fried? But neither we nor our robots can get close enough to the ship. Although we know that we can't to get too ship. close. I see. I've been there and nothing happened. So I guess I can take your device to the ship. My brain is too strong. We were hoping you'd help. Of course I am. You are God the last you. hope of humanity. And you, presumably, as well, as you seem to be stuck here. Right. Um, oh, I'm back here again. Um, I say I can't go to the end of the spaceship, can I? I need to install the jamming device. Okay. Oh, 